104.7 The Cave. Mike, the intern on the phone this morning with comedian Greg Warren, who just put out a new special online called The Salesman. Congratulations. And uh, tell me about the new stand-up comedy special you got, Greg. Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me on. Um, the Salesman is uh, its about a time in my life when I was a salesman. I, I sold peanut butter, Mike, out of college. I, I sold GIF. Are you serious? Like, like nationwide, or did you like just go to different like department stores and say, "Hey, check out this great uh, crunchy GIF we've got"? <laughs> well, I mean, with department stores, I don't think people are buying, uh, you know, peanut butter at Nordstrom. <laughs> I mean, grocery. I was in the grocery business, man. I, I called on grocery stores. Uh, let me say right up front, and I, I haven't worked there in twenty years. GIF, just the best peanut butter, man, by far. Crunchy or smooth. I was a smooth guy, which um, that's four to one. Four to one, uh, uh, creamy outsells crunchy. Those are the kind of things that I know. Uh, yeah, uh, our motto was choosy moms choose Jif. Choosy, Mike. Not all moms. Let's say maybe you're a mom who drinks in the afternoon and goes to the casino uh, and forgets to pick up your kid from school. If that's the case, by all means, buy Peter Pan. That's a better product for you, you know. But uh, Jif. That's 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 the good stuff right there. So, um, you went to Mizzou. I did. Yeah, I did. I did. I was born in Springfield, actually. Um, yeah. I I okay. First of all, are you you still follow you big Tiger fan? You still follow football, basketball, all that stuff? Well, I'm, I wrestled for Mizzou, so I'm a, I I follow wrestling very very closely. Uh, and uh, yeah, I follow a little bit of. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit of a fair weather fan when it comes to like football and basketball. If they're good, I'll, I'll take a look. But wrestling, I know every little detail there is to know about the Tigers, and they're good. Man, it, it, it's no joke. I, I wrestled a little bit. I was a big football player in high school. I did wrestling, and I made it like a year and a half. I just couldn't keep up. The 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 workout regimen, dude, I was just not about throwing up after practice every time. <laughs> Those yeah. guys are insane. Insane. And then to make it to the college level, I can't even imagine what that was like for sure. Um, but I, mean, I was, um, I was pretty good. But like my, my, I didn't start that way. My <laughs> freshman year, we had wrestled Northern Iowa, and they were like three in the country or something. And I had this match. I just got tired. I, I cut my weight wrong, and I, just, I couldn't get off the bottom. And uh, in the third period, the referee started making fun of me. He's like, "Are you okay down there, son?" <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah, they're laughing like it's a Def Jam show. They're, this guy's killing. And my coach never let me forget that. Warren, that reminds me of when you laid down at Northern Isle. One bad practice. Warren, that reminds me of when you laid down at Northern Isle. Even if I had a good practice. Warren, you got after it today. Good job. Bunner, you suck. You remind me of when Warren. <laughs> so uh, you were born in Springfield, but then um, yeah. you, did you, you're, you're from the St. Louis area as well. How'd that work out? I think my dad was going to, you know, it was Southwest Missouri at that time. He was going to school there. And uh, so, and then I think when he got out, I, I think my, I spent like my first two or three years down there, and then we moved to St. Louis, and that's where I grew up. So uh, uh, now let me ask you the next thing. Are you a big Cardinals fan? Huge, man. Huge. Yeah, live and breathe. Yeah, it, you can't not be in that town and not be a Cardinals fan or Blues fan either way, which the Blues are done, so that, that is what it is. But the Cardinals not having the greatest regular season start, but we'll get on that. Um, so I, it's just I'm because, you know, when we do these things, they kind of get a, a real snapshot of your life. Dude, you've lived a pretty incredible life of the, from a GIF salesman. You went to West Point, wrestled for University of Missouri, and then how in the hell did you end up being a – Stand-up comedian. Well, um, I, I just, I, I mean, I like selling peanut butter, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I did work at a comedy club in, in Columbia called Deja Vu when I, when I was in college, and that was my first real exposure to it. And I always, in the back of my head, I was like, man, I'd like to try that. And I, so off and on during that 10 years I worked for Procter & Gamble, I was doing stand-up comedy. And uh, I finally, I had like, I was doing this show one weekend with a guy named Kevin Pollack. You know who that is? Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so, and Pollack was like, he was huge. He had been on A Few Good Men, and he had sold out the whole weekend in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, after the week, he was like, hey, you know, you're really good at this, man. You got you could do this for a living. And I uh, I think at that point, I knew in, in the back of my head, I'm like, man, I have to at least give it a shot. You know? 
And it worked out, man. I mean, all these years later, just still going. The salesman uh, on on uh, online for free right now, and you can watch it on YouTube. And then you're going to be in Springfield at Blue Room Comedy Club in October for the entire weekend. Is that right? Yeah, dude, that place is great, man. Chris has he's a really really cool club there. I mean, I don't know if you guys realize how cool of a place that is. No, we do. Um, he's he's actually done something that I'm very happy because we used to have when I was growing up, uh, Sir Laughs a lot, and that would bring in. I played there with yeah, that. that brought. It was the weirdest. I mean, because you go in, it'd be nothing but pool tables, and then in the back, yeah. you'd have a club, which it worked. But uh, you know, and then I'm when it was really gone, sure it worked. I'm not so sure it works. Well, obviously, yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess that is. I guess that is probably true because it's still not around. But then there was a void of that for a really long time, and then uh, Blue Room Blue Room Comedy Club came up and started getting uh, you know bigger and bigger and bigger names, and now we're on the map. And it seems like every stand up comedian that's doing a tour is putting us through, which is really good to see. We're seeing a lot of talented people come through. Yeah, man. I think every every club comic you know, wants to get to Springfield and go to that room. It's just a fun, fun time. Um, yeah, I, oh, I forgot to mention, the, the guy that directed the uh, the special is named Nate Bargatze. He's kind of a huge name these days in comedy. He's selling out arenas and stuff like that. He is a friend, and Nate wanted to, uh, he wanted to, to produce three hour-long specials uh with comedians, and I, I'm lucky enough to be one of them. So it's kind of cool. It's on, it's on his YouTube channel called Nate Land. Check it out. And in the meantime, get your tickets to see Greg when he comes to town at the Blue Room Comedy Club. October 5th through the 7th, after you watch The Salesman, I know you're going to want to buy some tickets. Greg, thank you so much, and hopefully I can talk to you a little bit closer till we get to uh, October when you come to Springfield. Oh, that'd be great, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for doing this, too.